Hey friends, as you may know, we do quite a little bit of end-to-end -end testing here at Checkly and let me tell you that we are big fans of Playwright because it makes end-to-end -end testing so much easier. And one of the tricky things in end-to-end -end testing is usually that it is hard to know when things on a website or in a web app are actionable. So you can consider a button that opens a modal if you want to test the modal or an input field that is initially disabled. How would you test these things? This usually meant that you had to place delays or wait for statements all over the place to make sure that your website is functioning. With Playwright, you don't have to do this. So let me show you how this works. So what you see is a test website and includes five buttons. And I can click all these buttons and you see that they are disabled after a button click. These buttons also have the IDs from one to five. The challenging part here is that when I reload the page, you will see that these buttons become actionable at different moments in time. So how could you test this using Playwright? So what you see here on the left side is that I'm requiring Chromium and an assertion library, and then I'm opening and spawning a new browser and opening a new web page. And here we come to the testing part. I'm locating the specific button. So it's the first one here, I'm clicking it, and then I'm asserting that this button is really disabled after a particular button click. So when I now run this script, you will see that everything passed. If I remove the click from the script, you will see that the test is now failing because the button is not disabled. But this is the easy case, right? Because the first button is actionable all the time. But the cool thing about Playwright is that the others work the same way. So the second button is only injected into the DOM at a later stage. Playwright will wait for this before it clicks it. Then there's the third option with a button that is hidden initially. Playwright waits for this too. And even animations work. So what you see here for the fourth button, Playwright waits for the animation to stop and then only clicks the button. And lastly, disabled elements are also not actionable. So Playwright waits until a disabled button becomes actionable before it clicks it. With this functionality, you don't have to put random wait for or delays inside of your scripts and that makes them more solid and more maintainable. If you want to learn more about this, this feature is called auto waiting. You will find more information in the docs and I see you next week for the next tip.